Here, the grand ballroom. He has her in here. Where is he, my generals? Well, well, Drustin. You've gotten yourself into a tight spot, haven't you? Stuck in a corner with nowhere to go. I don't know who you are, but let her go. And I might let you live. If you hurt her, I will end you. Generals, beloved, hold your ground. Dresden, you are mere seconds away from my new friend here ripping you to shreds. Let her go, and we can discuss another form of punishment. Morgan, stupid mind trick. Why isn't he letting her go? He's outnumbered and cornered. He is starving, and he isn't going to let a fresh meal slip out of his fingers easily. We're going to have to move. All of you, listen to me. Ben and my beloved, go for Dresden's throat. You can immobilize him by pinning him there. Do not let his bite near you. Sweet girl, I will come for you. Boys, take Dresden to your right. I will take the lady to the left. Any questions? Just say the word. He's going for her throat. Now. <laughs> My lady, are you all right? Good. Just remain here. Beloved, are you hurt? Good. Beloved, generals, take what is left of the traitor and burn the pieces in the furnace. Leave no part unsinged. I will find you all shortly. Generals, has the body been disposed of? Good. I knew I should have dispatched of him long ago, but there was no punishment fit for his crime. But I am happy to say that his death was not in vain. The Lunar is learning how to turn himself at will. Yes, it is an advantage for him and for us as well. <sighs> Both of you, return to your chambers and rest. I hope no more unexpected guests show up tonight. I am returning to my chambers if I am needed. Rest well. My beloved is not here in our chambers as I expected. Not to worry. There is nothing in our home that can cause harm with dressed and dead. Ugh. His clothes are covered in filth from Dresden and Ben throwing me on the ground. A hot bath and some clean bedclothes and some fresh air on the balcony will, will clear my head. The sun will rise in just a few hours. This has been a long night indeed. Who would have thought a lunar and an officer of the regime would walk right up to my door? <laughs> I can only hope they'll join our side in the fight. Ben is smart and strong, a natural fighter. His lady is loyal to him, and so if we have Ben, we have her. I'll need to put Ben into training with my beloved and my generals to build up his human battle skills. <laughs> you think you're stealthy, don't you, my love? You've already showered and changed into your bedclothes, and now you slowly sneak up behind me <sighs> to wrap your arms around me. <laughs> You did splendidly tonight, dearest. 
I am so proud of how well you did. Yes, I mean that. Well, after you and our generals left, I gave Ben his first lesson in turning at will. It was an eventful session, and he seems he will be a quick learner. I believe, now, that he sees he can control it, it will not fear him so, and he will begin to use it. What mark? Oh, <laughs> I threatened his lady as proper motivation to get him to turn back into the beast. He was not happy with me and lunged. <laughs> I did not realize his paw would leave such a mark. It is nothing more than a bruise, beloved. I've gotten them before in rough fights. They go away. Yes. <laughs> Being in our bed with you sounds like heaven. And I decree that we are not getting up before noon. <laughs> no matter what happens. Oh. Lead the way. <sighs> no. No, I, I just got dizzy and the, the world seemed to turn upside down. No. No, you don't have to carry me. I can... Fine. No, no, Ben did not cause this. No, dearest, our tussle was nothing. I, I actually became dizzy once before that, when I went to locate him earlier, before Drustin even escaped. Beloved, no, I don't need a cold cloth. No, I, d beloved, please. Please just sit on the bed with me. I'm scared. And I need you. I, I don't... I don't know how to say this. Because I'm not sure I believe it myself, but Ben... Ben and I... After our sparring session, before Ben left his lunar form, he noticed something odd. Love, he said he... He said he heard a heartbeat coming from me. I told him that was not possible, but... But he insists that I'm with child. But I don't know how that could be. My body isn't made to carry a baby. Everything inside of me is dead. Yet the lunar swears that I am carrying your air. If this is true, it changes everything. We can no longer take the regime head on. We cannot bring any further attention to ourselves until we know how to handle this. I don't want to go to war and jeopardize the child if I have to fight. We will have to send Ben and his lady back and see if they're willing to wait. You are in even more danger now than ever because the regime may know that you're here by now. What do you mean you don't care about yourself? You are the most important. Your child is the most important thing. Yes, it would seem the stakes have been raised between us. 
No. I have never heard of a betrayed carrying a human's child before. Or any child whatsoever. I just don't see how it's possible. Do I want the child? more than anything but I don't dare let myself hope that it is true I came to terms with a lot of things when I was cursed and not being able to have a child was one of them but now now I feel hope creeping in and it scares the hell out of me How can something as evil as I bring any good into this world? What if it can't love me? What if I can't love it? Beloved, I am a monster, not a mother. scared. More scared of this than anything I've ever faced. I would take on the Witch Queen a thousand times and still not feel the fear I do now. I do not know how my body will handle being with child. I am in completely uncharted territory. And now, I have two of the most treasured beings one could ever have in my life. And it's my job to protect you both. I do not deserve you. I do not deserve this baby. I have never had this much to lose before. Your palm is warm against my bare stomach. <laughs> Please, beloved, tell me what you're thinking. You are certain you want me to be the mother of your child. Are you certain you can love us both? No matter what this baby is, human, betrayed, or both? What do you mean I don't need to worry? Yes, I love you. Yes, you are my one and only beloved. Yes. I would do anything for you. All you have to do is ask. Let you take the lead. Let you protect me. Let you care for me. Let you love me. Yes, for both me and the little one. You want one more thing. <laughs> what is that? Yes, beloved, I will be your wife.